Um, all of the obstructions have now taken place, there's no more teeth to come out. So I've been left with sort of half of my mouth still intact. Although I wanted more out, so right. I'm probably not making much sense, am I? I'm so thirsty and every time I try to have a sip it's... I should have gotten some straws actually Because I just can't, I'm so numbed up still that um, it's just going everywhere when I try to even have a sip of water or juice. So now it's probably not the best time for me to be on here. I just wanted to come on and say, um, Everything's done now, all the obstructions are done. Um, the only thing now to decide is what is going to be um, implants, denture, um, whatever is going to be done. And it's going to be two months eight weeks before discussing that because um sorry this is horrible it's gonna be two months before discussing that. Ladies, <laughs> a call from Glasgow in Scotland. Wasn't that where Missy Moo was supposed to be going to? <laughs> Although she hasn't got my night phone in Russia, and I doubt if she's there. Which is anywhere that's going to be sort of um, yeah, mum and dad maybe so they can look after her, after her. Right. Anyway, I've got no more teeth to come out. Um, I've been left with half my mouth intact. I had, I'm still numbed up quite a lot because it's only about um, less than two hours ago. And I'm just so thirsty. I just wanted to let you all know it's all done now. And I've just got to wait for two months before going back and discussing, well, going back and checking on how the healing has gone, which I don't think is going to be any problem. There hasn't been any problem, even given, you know, the fears about excessive bleeding of the uh, Alentronic Acid stuff that was put into my body on the 
pretext of helping with the osteoporosis, which it never did do. So, if that's putting you off having the anandronic acid, then um, let it just be a cautionary tale to you that it can cause all these dental problems. Um, Anyway, it's done now. So, two months time, I'll go back and discuss what's what's going to be done, what uh, teeth I can have in my mouth, and uh, where we go from here. I literally come home. Um, and just come straight straight into bed. Um, I do feel that I'm going to need to be looking after how it is it's on the end of my bed. I don't know whether you can see that. But she's on the end of my bed. She won't leave her mummy. But um, I won't be doing too much today. And... Uh, So I'll be back and wait for that later. I might not. But no more dentists now for two months. And then, just to discuss what's going to be going in my mouth, not what's, you know, what um, teeth are going to be going in my mouth, not what extractions there are. To, I think I'm talking rubbish. I'm getting off here. Um, I know what I mean to say. There's no more teeth to come out. There's nothing um, awful that's going to be happen happening now. All that I've got to wait for is the decision on what um, teeth, I'm going to be paying for to go into my mouth and build my, build my smile, I'll rebuild my smile. You might be able to see that one, that noticeable tooth there, that, um, the dentist said all along he didn't want to take that one out. Two feet back there, two feet back there, two feet back there. So he didn't go along with what uh, was my, you know, my knee-jerk reaction, just take the whole darn lot out. He didn't do that. And uh, sense prevailed. And... Um, We'll just wait and see what happens now. It's all going to be positive in regards to my mouth from here on. Mm. I just feel really tired. 